welcome to Skip to Malu, cooking with a Filipino accent. Well, it's a bit gloomy today, but even then, with fall colors all around us, it just makes you feel so happy and it lifts up your spirit, isn't it? This is what happened to me today on my way to the grocery store. I was just astounded by the beauty of nature. Colors of red, yellow, orange, it's just so beautiful. And just like I promised you, for this fall season, I'll be sharing a lot of stews recipes for you guys. And this episode was inspired by the suggestion of Benedict Balada from Quezon City. And I love him because he comments a lot. And making me feel that someone out there is really watching. He requested for me to cook humba. Well, humba is actually the Visayan version of an adobo. What makes it different is that it's sweet and also it's punctuated by the saltiness that comes from Tausi. Thank you so much, Benedict, and this episode is for you. Okay, so let's look at the ingredients. Pork hocks, you could also use Kasim or pork belly, banana blossoms, then we have garlic, bananas, and you could use saba or plantain, that's fine. And dried mushrooms, you could either use tengang daga, or for me, I opted to use shiitake mushrooms, bay leaf, pepper, vinegar, soy sauce, Sprite, or you could use also Coca Cola, Tausi, or black beans. And then we have three eggs and also brown sugar. For the first step, what I'd like to share with you is a technique on how to prep your pork hocks. This is a technique that I learned from my husband's grandmother, Mami Dori. I miss her, but she left a very good legacy on her love for cooking. What I would like to do is boil it and then pitch the first boil. That way, you know, the impurities of the pork will be discarded. So once we've rinsed it off, we will add a little water again. Wait for it until it boils and then until it reduces and then until the pork renders its fat. You could hear already the crackling sound, right? The pork already has rendered its own fat. What we're trying to do now is to brown the pork in its own fat. At this point, you could already add the garlic. You want lots and lots of garlic. I'm putting like around six cloves of garlic. What we're trying to do is to brown our pork as well as the garlic. So when it's nice and brown like that, Let's set this aside. Again, you don't want your garlic to be burning. Next is to caramelize our sugar. Make sure to remove all this brown on the side and on the surface so that it's not gonna burn. Let's go ahead and pour our soy sauce, our vinegar. It smells so good. You could use Coke or Sprite, whichever you prefer. At this point too, I'd like you to add water in there. Our bay leaf. You could go ahead and put our pepper. Let's wait for it to simmer. All right, so it's simmering nicely and it's time for us to put back in our pork hocks that we have browned earlier. Oh man, it smells so good already. <laughs> Cook this for, I think, about an hour or so to make the pata really tender by cooking it slowly. While our pork is tenderizing, let's go ahead and prep off the other ingredients. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to soak in shiitake mushrooms just to make it tender. S slice it into julienne strips. Let's put it later when the humba is almost cooked. Let, let's slice our bananas to um, bite size. So let's see what's going on here. It's been 40 minutes since I last checked it. And it looks so good. So what I want to do is flip it on the other side. And look at that. It's already wobbly. But I, I still want to cook it further because that's what humba is all about. At this point, get your banana blossoms. Put it there. Also, we could now add in the, the black beans or tausi. 
I just want to put around um, two tablespoons in there and if this is too salty for you try to uh, rinse it off with water also at this time we, we could go ahead and put the egg there yeah this is the style that mommy Dory taught me you know putting egg into her humba I know it takes a while to cook this dish I mean probably it's gonna take you an hour more than an hour that's for sure but I promise you it's gonna be all worth it when that pork melts into your mouth you'll be glad you cooked it I'm adding three cinnamon sticks this will add more fragrance remember it's called humba but it's supposed to be sweet smelling right so let's cook it further but as you can see look how wobbly that um, meat is right now so the secret of this is slow cooking so it's been another 20 minutes and there you go now let's put the rest of the ingredients which, which are the dried mushroom that we have soaked in hot water and also the sabak or bananas last check oh my word and then it's done so there you have it how to cook humba a la skip to malu so Benedict, I hope I have kept my promise and that this recipe is exactly what you're looking for. Thanks again for your suggestion and if you have any other suggestions, please comment down below. Also for the rest of you, please let me know that you're there by commenting down below or let me know what you want me to cook next. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Malu saying, that's wrong.